Who runs the game? Who knows the game? It's the institutions. It's the hedge funds. Are they going to lose at their own game? No. No, no, no. So why are you messing with stocks that doesn't have that high institutional ownership? It makes no sense. One out of two shares is owned by an institution. You don't want to be a part of that company? Now, who's one of the biggest, if not the biggest shareholder in this company? Let's look at that. 2021 schemes are done. The data productions community right here is already thinking about what we're doing in 2022. We got to prepare ourselves now if we want to make money in this matrix. The matrix is not going anywhere, but we can still use it to our advantage to help our family, our loved ones, our friends, and our communities around us by making more money within it. All right? So... Make sure you watch this full video today because this one is going to be an absolute banger. What's up, everybody? Art Turner, Data Productions Media, Dreams Are Tangible Aspirations, where we scheme our dreams into existence. Like I said, we have a banger for you guys today. We're done with 2021. Our plays are already intact for that on this community. We're just letting them simmer. We're letting them marinate. And we're going to be scalping and taking off the top and protecting our profits at this point. But now it's time for us to focus on 2022 and what we see moving forward. It, forward, If you remember my last video about uh, LiAngelo Ball, the Ball brothers in 2022 and how that all aligns, this is going. that was a great primer for this video when we get to talk about Fuel Cell Energy Inc., Incorporated ticker symbol F C E L. I would watch that video I did last week first before going into this one because this is really 2022 oriented and where the matrix is going with uh, hydrogen technology and you know the bees. We talked about bitcoins, blunts, betting, be uh, beverages, bullion, right? Um, and then also threw hydrogen water in there, and we're going to get into why hydrogen is an uh, important role for 2022 and how it correlates back to B, if you think about it. If you remember the last video, H equals 8, and then we know 8 is B. So you see that transitive property, and you know we're going to go over that gematria as well. But since this is the very first base video on Fuel Cell Energy Inc., I have to give you not only the fundamental DD, we're going to go into some uh, video as well on what hydrogen fuel cell technology is for this company, Fuel Cell Energy Inc. Uh, and then we're going to get into some technical analysis with the Gematria. So we have a lot going on today. This is a learning video, all right? If you really want to be, you know, a killer in the stock market, you have to do True DD, and this is free knowledge I'm throwing out there for everybody. So stick with me today because this will help your pockets in the long run, guys. Fuel Cell Energy Inc. I am now long on this company, on this channel. We liked, we like oversold and undervalued stocks, all right. And personally, we like stocks with high institutional ownership with that manipulation because we know where that goes over time long term it only goes up so for people who are aren't familiar with uh fuel cell energy inc it's a hydrogen fuel cell company uh it helps industrial uh factory players around the world um you know get more clean energy so it's not all about uh, uh carbon dioxide that they're emitting they can uh capture that carbon and you know emit it to water or, or natural gas and things like that and we'll get into uh more of that um in the dd but we just want to look at the price a little bit um it closed on friday at uh six dollars and uh 28 cents when you look back uh around february it reached a high of around 29.44 that was the 52 week high that was right around in february at the peak of the market it took a major crash down, a major crash down. Um, but that's where the opportunity is. Because if you even go back further on the three-year chart, you'll see, I mean, it's pretty close to the bottom end of support level. 
So, uh, you know, it, it was under $5 for quite a while, but then it had that jump up. And so now it's kind of finding that good base at around that $5, $5, $6 support mark, which is good to see. That's why I went long in this position. If it goes down even more, I'm buying more. I know where this is going long term. So that's just a little bit on, uh, you know, the, the, the price where it's at currently, the three-year span of it. And so let's get into some of the DD on what actually does Fuel Cell Energy Inc. do with the hydrogen. Okay, we are on Fuel Cell Energy's website. And I'm just going to go a little bit about them and what they do, keep it short and sweet. But again, if you don't know about this company, you got to follow along with me because I'm giving out great information that you can build on top of yourself moving forward. Delivering clean, innovative solutions to enable a world empowered by clean energy. Fuel Cell Energy, Inc. is a global leader in fuel cell technology with a purpose of utilizing its proprietary state-of-the-art fuel cell platforms to enable a world empowered by clean energy. We provide comprehensive turnkey solutions for our customers that include everything from design and installation of a project to a long-term operation and maintenance of the fuel cell system. The global fleet of shore source power plants spans three continents and is leading the industry with millions of megawatts of ultra-clean power produced by utilizing state-of-the-art fuel cells or our shore source plants provided environmentally responsible solutions for various applications such as utility scale and on-site power generation, carbon capture, local hydrogen production for both transportation and industry, and long-duration energy storage. Our systems are catered to meet needs of customers across several industries, including utility companies, municipalities, universities, government entities, and in a variety of industrial and commercial enterprises. We leverage our core capabilities by forging strategic relationships with carefully selected business partners that bring power generation experience, financial resources, and market access. So that pretty much sums up what they do. They have this sure source, um, you know, energy hydrogen fuel cell system that works with industrial uh, players. They have a project with Toyota in Long Beach right now. They're working with Exxon Mobil. We're going to look into that as well. Um, and they, you know, give them more clean energy. So you're going to tell me, so what clean energy are they using? What type of hydrogen are they emitting? Well, let's go through some of the, just the color codings of the hydrogen real quick. So there's three types of hydrogen. You know, you have gray, blue, and green. Gray is the worst that comes from, you know, coal factories. Blue is what they primarily work on. It's better than gray, but it might not be the cleanest as green, but the difference is green is hard to still do because you have to have, you know, solar power, wind turbines, and in a lot of cases, those are inefficient themselves. So working with the blue hydrogen, with the carbon capture technology, you know, you're reforming the, uh, the, 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 the coal and gas, natural gas and the biomass into a blue hydrogen and you store it. So uh, that's good, and that's kind of like, you know, a best of both worlds as we go into the, you know, future. You know, hopefully over time we can get more green hydrogen, but right now what's efficient for them is blue. Let's look at the article. ExxonMobil Fuel Cell Energy Partner on Game Changing Technology. I'm not going to go over the full article, but again, carbon capture technology with the gas giant, and this stands out to me. It says... Fuel Cell Energy's technology takes any type of methane-rich fuel and turns it into electricity. It gives it power. That's a big line, and we're going to get into the gematria of that when we get into that section. Now, also, Fuel Cell Energy is working with Toyota on the Port of Long Beach facility, um, and it's going really well as well. So, I mean, they're big, working some, with some big players, ExxonMobil and Toyota. And do you remember what I said about I like stocks that have heavy institutional ownership? It's because if it's heavy institutional ownership, you know the institutions aren't taking that loss. They have the money. They have the inside information. So follow the money. If a lot of institutional buyers are in this stock, why aren't you in it? They're going to make money. Don't you want to make money? 
you get some shares of that highly institutional owned stock because nine times out of ten and if you think about game theory on what's going to happen who runs the game who knows the game it's the institutions it's the hedge funds are they going to lose at their own game no 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 so why are you messing with stocks that doesn't have that high institutional ownership it makes no sense it makes no sense so now let's look at the institutional ownership for fuel cell at one point it was actually a legit 51 percent right now it's at 50.71 percent so it is still over half so you're saying one out of every two shares is an institutional buyer that's pretty significant one out of two shares is owned by an institution you don't want to be a part of that company now who's one of the biggest if not the biggest shareholder in this company let's look at that blackrock incorporated owns 33 million shares of fuel cell energy incorporated we love that number 33 they own 10.4 percent of the company of stock one out of every 10 shares is owned by BlackRock. Now, answer me this. Is BlackRock taking an L on this investment? No, wait. Is BlackRock taking any L on any investment? No. The flat out answer is no. So we see that. They have 33 million shares, 33 and a half. They own 10% of the company. They own one-fifth of the institutional shares themselves. That's what I like to see. And I can't wait to get into Gematria because it gets crazy. But first, let's continue with some more DD. We're going to talk about the truth about hydrogen fuel cells, a future behind cars. I would watch this full video. He goes through the, the cons first of hydrogen fuel cell te technology, and then he goes into the pros. We're only going to go into the pros today. If you wanted to go to the cons, watch this video, Undecided by Matt Farrell. I'm not hiding anything from you guys. Why haven't fuel cells faded off into the land of misfit toys? Well, this is where it gets interesting because fuel cells start to make a pretty good use case for themselves when you need to deliver nonstop power in a specific location. A good example of this is data centers, which are opting to use fuel cell installations as emergency backup more data. and more. Apple is using Bloom Energy fuel cells for some of their backup needs and pairing it to their self-contained microgrid of solar panels and rechargeable batteries. It's like an insurance policy in case their grid goes down their batteries are drained and they aren't able to resupply themselves with enough solar energy. This is big. Enter their fuel cell backups. And Microsoft is testing fuel cells as a replacement for their diesel backup generators at their data centers as well. One of the most appealing aspects is fitting the installations with an electrolyzer that could take advantage of excess wind and solar energy to generate and store their own hydrogen. Then during peak demand, they could spin up their hydrogen fuel cells to generate energy for themselves or for the grid. Now, while it's not as efficient as battery storage for capturing their excess energy, it's two birds with one stone. Normally, these backup systems sit unused 99% of the time. This could give backup systems like this an extra benefit and a way to save additional money. Fuel cells can also provide power to rural areas that are too remote to be tied into a broader grid. It's a method to effectively create microgrids whenever and wherever they're needed. The South African government is partnering with several companies to do just this. They're also using fuel cells to power a field hospital in Pretoria that's set up to handle an influx of COVID patients. Fuel cells are a simple way to bring more renewable methods of energy generation to remote areas, and they let you easily set up power when and where you need it. These types of solutions are replacing the need for diesel generators. Looking back towards transportation is large-scale shipping, like freight shipping by sea, which can also benefit from fuel cells. Samsung Heavy Industries, which is one of the largest shipbuilders in the world, is partnering with Bloom Energy to develop a new fuel cell powertrain for their commercial ships. The ultimate goal is to replace oil-based power generation, which accounts for the vast majority of ships today. They're hoping to show off a design by 2022. And when you think of trying to build out a new hydrogen economy to support transportation, 
large scale shipping makes a lot of sense as a place to start. It's big, you dude. You focus the development efforts around where the ports are, where the ships will be refueling. In comparison, building out an infrastructure for passenger vehicles is a lot trickier and more costly, which is one of the many reasons that passenger fuel cell vehicles haven't caught on. And there's been some really interesting advancements in making fuel cells cheaper to manufacture and last longer. The company series is a process to create a steel cell solid oxide fuel cell, which is capable of using everything from natural gas to hydrogen. This adaptability means it can take advantage of existing natural gas infrastructure for use in homes and businesses, and be adapted down the road when hydrogen and other fuels become more prevalent. Since it's from steel and ceramics, it's using commodity materials and processes that can keep costs down. While the future of fuel cells for passenger vehicles is most likely over, and you can check out my video on that exact topic, it doesn't mean that fuel cells as a technology is over. There are big improvement in efficiency and pollution compared to burning fossil fuels, and will continue to get cleaner as we get better about generating hydrogen from clean energy sources like solar and wind. But if you think about a fuel cell as a generator, there's an incredible array of opportunities for fuel cells to carve a niche for themselves Generators, man. and to be a valuable part of the energy mix. And remember, guys, that infrastructure bill with new clean energy that's getting passed in fuel cell energy is, you know, they're, they're having more positions pop up all over the place. So they know the money's coming, right? They know they're about to get subsidized. Um, and that's huge. You know, that $3.5 trillion uh, budget uh, is going to pass with that infrastructure bill um, or the infrastructure plan. So Fuel Cell Energy Inc. is going to get a lot of that money. And that's why you see BlackRock, you know, with 10% of all the shares in the company and two owning 50%, a solid 50% too. Um, so this is huge all around, guys. Before we get into the gematria of Fuel Cell Energy Inc., I just want to let you guys know, hey, if you like my gematria stocks and my picks, and hey, the numbers speak for themselves, my community is eating. You know, check all the videos I've done. We're eating right now. So hey, if you like my gematria stocks, newsletters, and notes for only $5 a month, you can get that and you can help support the community. But I also do monthly sports documentaries, which is also amazing, where I have three full documentaries right now. Michael Jordan's Last Shot versus the Utah Jazz, Occult Baseball and Freemasonry, and The Dark Truth About Space Jam 2 and Warner Brothers. You can get all that, again, for only $5 a month. So if you like my Gematria stocks, like we're going over now, and you're making money, and you want to learn more esoterically and have a tangible, downloadable PDF to look at, this is for you. If you love my sports documentaries and you want to learn, well, for $5 a month, you can have that as well. That is for you. But say if you like both my Gematria stock picks and my sports documentaries, you can get both for my Dream Schemers Ultimate Woke Pack for only $8.63. That's a $1.37 discount. You can get both. And hey, that's the Ultimate Woke Pack right there. You can make money, but also learn off the matrix in the sports world as well. So if you want to support data productions and the growth of this channel and see me, you know, scale out and grow more, the Patreon page is where you can do it. Um, and I think it's awesome. Okay, now let's get into the gematria of fuel cell energy. This is in depth and it's a lot to go over. So again, the link is in my description or pinned comment where you can go to my Patreon and print all this out. All right, sign up for the Patreon. You can print all this out so you can tangibly look at it yourself at your own pace. I still give it out for free as well for those who want to watch my whole videos. You know, there's free game to be had if you want to sit down and be patient and learn along the way. So there's just some base gematria words that's going to come in play. I don't talk about all these, but look, you have fuel cell, fuel cell energy, fuel cell energy, Inc., fuel cell energy incorporated. Then you have carbon capture. What pops up? Carbon capture. 137 English ordinal. You know that's the 33rd prime. Big number we like to work with. Then you also have 56 in the reduction. Why is this important? What else is 56 in the same reduction cipher? Society of Jesus. Who controls the matrix? Those guys. So, you know, carbon capture, 137 and 56. That's what I like to see. Hydrogen fuel cell technology. And again, I'm not going to go over all the numbers. You can look out these for yourself and you can find your own connections. That's why I have all the four base uh, words up. So you can you might find something yourself. Energy company, fuel cell, 
237 in English ordinal, that's going to play a role. 102 in reduction, that's going to play a role. You have that 330 in reverse ordinal, which is important. You know, that 30, that's 33. Zero is just the value placeholder. Energy company, 55 in the reverse reduction is going to play out as well. Um, and guys, remember, we're going into 2022. In my last video, I, I stated 22 is going to be important. It's B. B is the second uh, letter of the al alphabet. So B could be 2 and 2 could be B, vice versa. And I also said that on digital clocks, 5s and 2s are essentially the same. They're just flip mirrors. You flip it up, it looks like a 5. You flip it down, it looks like a 2 on digital clocks, right? It all plays a role. So energy company equaling 55 in the reverse reduction cipher plays out because that could also be seen as 22. That's next level thinking. Um, but now let's get into some of the uh, 22s, right? Okay, now let's get into some of the big 22s, the B connection, right? Fuel Cell Energy Inc. will thrive in 2022. 222 in reduction. Bang. Hydrogen fuel cell technology will thrive in 2022. That equals 220 in the Chaldean cipher. Bang. That's very important. And we should note that that's 53 letters. That plays a role as well. The Jesuit controlled stocks for 2022. What I like seeing is in Franck Baconis, uh, 1,370, 137. And in Jewish reduction, we have 220. 22 fuel cell energy will dominate carbon capture business sector 202 in chaldean remember zero is a value placeholder 22 we know about blackrock blackrock inc 222 reverse ordinal bbb they also equal uh 33 in the septenary cipher the septenary cipher is divine it goes up to seven very important cipher i like to use and that's just you know for fine tuning you know, I like using the septenary and Chaldean cipher for fine-tuning of my decodes. But 33 is big, just like how they have 33 million shares in the company. BlackRock Inc. Fuel Cell Energy, 144 reverse reduction. That's important because Jesuit order equals 144. We have 102 reduced reduction. We know that's important. Energy Company Fuel Cell, 102 in reduction. Then we have that 237 as well. And we go back up to the top, energy company fuel cell and that Jewish ordinal. Clean energy equals 55 in reduction. Energy company equals 55 in reverse reduction. BlackRock Inc. fuel cell energy. Inc. 505 in reverse ordinal, 55 right there. Jesuit order equals 144. Jason B. Fuel, the CEO of uh, uh, fuel cell energy. So Jason B. Few, Fuel Cell Energy Incorporated equals 144 in the Chaldean at the Caro, the Cario numerology is just Chaldean. BlackRock Inc. doesn't lose on investments, 202 in reverse reduction, 137 in Chaldean. That's pretty strong. That's, that's saying that they're not losing, right? Hydrogen slash Fuel Cell Energy Inc., 137 in the reduction cipher. Over half of institutional ownership in stock, 220 in reverse reduction, 22 BB, 2022. Hydrogen fuel cell technology will power America in 2022, 220 Jewish reduction. Hydrogen fuel cell energy will power America in 2022, 220 reverse single reduction where S is 10 in the reverse. The government will subsidize Fuel Cell Energy, Inc., 220 in the keypad cipher. Hydrogen power boom in America, 2022, 202 reverse reduction. Hydrogen power boom in United States, 2022, 220 reduction, 220 Jewish reduction. The government, with government abbreviated to GOVT, will subsidize Fuel Cell Energy Incorporated, equals 555 in English ordinal and 3,330 in English Sumerian. And the English Sumerian cipher is just where every letter is a multiple of six. So A is six, B is 12, and so on in sixes. So that's very important that it has that connection with the 3,330. That's big. Hydrogen power revolution, 2022, 330 
in English ordinal, three hundred in uh, three in reverse ordinal, and then K F W Kabbalah. I'm still learning that cipher, so I don't want to you know use it too much. But that's you know three hundred and thirty as well. So that's big. You see all those thirty threes. It's going to play out like that, guys. You know this is this is important. Hydrogen slash fuel cell energy Inc. United States of America 2022 equals 506 in English ordinal, which is 56. We've talked about 56 already. Hydrogen slash fuel cell energy Inc. slash America in 2022, 351 in English ordinal, which is the reverse of 153, which is a big number. And this is when it gets crazy. I got super deep. Yo, I got super deep in the gematria. Hydrogen fuel cell energy will power America in 2022. English ordinal is 777, which is a big important number. Three sevens together is huge. That's powerful, but it also equals 303 in the reverse reduction. So I went pretty deep on that uh, 777 on the triple sevens, right? Remember, hydrogen fuel cell energy will power America in 2022. The base sentence phrase right here and it's in English ordinal 777 watch how this gets broken down triple sevens 33 in Chaldean triple sevens spelled out 56 reduction three sevens 56 septenary 777 hydrogen 330 reverse ordinal 777 in matrix 303, English ordinal. 777, hydrogen fuel cell tech. 3,333 in triagonal. That's another cipher. That's a mathematical cipher with, uh, you know, triangular numbers. That's big. 777, hydrogen fuel cell. 2,202, English Sumerian. Two two two. Seven seven seven. Fuel cell energy incorporated. Two hundred and twenty-two in single reduction, where S is ten. B B B. This is crazy. This is just off seven hundred seventy-seven off three sevens. Seven seven seven. Fuel cell energy incorporated. Two thousand twenty-two. Two hundred one. Reduction. We know two hundred one is important because the Jesuit order equals two hundred one in reverse reduction. That's a big number. The number 777 is important to the matrix. Wow. Look, reverse reduction 202, 22, and then reverse single reduction 220, 22. 777 has importance. Wow. Full reduction in KV where uh, K and V, so K is 11, V is 22 because they're master numbers. So master numbers are important in this, right? 222, triple Bs. 777 has importance within matrix, 237 reduction and 202 in septenary. You know about 237, remember? We talked about that. We talked about 237, how that plays. Black Rock, right? You know, energy company fuel cell. 777 and BBB go together equals 777 in English Sumerian. Oh my gosh, mind blower. Triple B. Slash two 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 slash eight 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 slash seven 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 equals two hundred and two in Chaldean, and we all know that the importance of that. You know, eight essentially is B, so B is two. So that means eight is two. You see how that works? B B B two 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 eight 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 equals 330 in Jewish ordinal. Then we have 777 BBB 222 is 33 in a lot of ciphers. You see that? 777 and BBB and 222 go together. 153 in English ordinal. Fuel Cell Energy Inc.'s technology takes any type of methane-rich fuel and turns it into electricity. 330 in septenary. That was in that ExxonMobil article. You see the power behind that. Fuel Cell Energy Inc. is in Danbury, Connecticut. So Danbury, Connecticut fuel cell stock. Danbury, Connecticut fuel cell, 108 in reduction. Then you have that 153 in uh, reverse reduction and 144 in reverse reduction. 
Then you have Danbury, Connecticut, ticker fuel cell, 330, and the ALW Kabbalah with the 322, and the KF Kabbalah, you know, Club 322, we know about that. Fuel Cell Energy, Inc., Exxon Mobil, reverse reduction with EP with the master numbers 222, single reverse reduction EP with the 222 as well, BBB. And then like I keep saying with the transitive property, well, guys, the gematria backs it up with the calculations as well. Look, H equals 8. Remember, H is the hydrogen element, right? And it's the eighth letter of the alphabet. H equals 8. 8 equals B. B equals 2 by transitive property. Well, in the single reduction, KV, that's 222. What are the odds of that, right? Very slim. H equals 8. 8 equals B. B equals 2 with uh, 2 by the transitive property. So I've just put the in there, the transitive property. Then you get that 237, which is plays, but also that 555 in reverse ordinal. Wow. That's big, right? Look, right back. It was English ordinal, my bad, but still. The government will subsidize fuel cell energy. You can't deny these Gematria decodes, bro. We're making money in 2022 off this, bro. And I'm going to do just a whole series on all the stocks that we're going to be in 2022 because it's going to be a banger of a year for us on this channel. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Okay, before we finish up this video, I just want to go over some little bit of technical analysis over this. So as you see, like I said, you know, there was a peak of $29.44 back in february so i just drew, drew a trend line we're going down so we really are getting to that breakout point where we should be going back up the stock's going to be testing the 100 day sma once again very soon that uh 10 day simple moving average is death is coming under the price now which is nice to see to get back under that run and it seems like we're right on that 50 day right now which is good to see the volume is still highly low, very low, very low. A lot of people are just sitting, and the RSI is definitely, you know, just chilling right now. You know, nothing too crazy. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And look, I'm not a financial advisor, but I'm really confident in this company long term. We should see some really good price action going into uh, fall, winter, and into 2022. Um, so I'm very excited about this. I am holding long. And if you do decide to get into it, remember, um, do so at your own risk. But, you know, I'm here to make money for everybody. Um, Art Turner, Data Productions Media, Dreams are Tangible Aspirations, where we scheme our dreams into existence. I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you all. And I'll see you very soon.